Obviously, you just saw that we received the first 14 passengers from um, Haiti. Uh, they, they flew out of Cape Haitian Airport and flew direct to Sanford Seminole International Airport. Um, as of today, I, I want to give you a couple of updated numbers. Again, these 14 uh, passengers include eight children, as you saw, six adults. Uh, so far to date, the division, uh, as of 6 o'clock p.m., We've had 554 people reach out to us and contact us asking for assistance getting out of Haiti. 378 of those are now Floridians. So that is up uh, substantially from our uh, last report just a few hours ago. You obviously saw tears, you saw laughter, you saw joy. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, there's nothing more gratifying as an EM director than to see that. That's what it's all about. Um, it took a couple of tries and they didn't give up. They stayed with us until the end of the mission, which I can happily say was a mission accomplished. And we're finally reunited with Julian, um, our two-year-old son. It took about two and a half weeks, so the days were turning into weeks, the weeks were turning into months, but um, we're very grateful um, to everyone that made this possible. And again, thank you to Governor DeSantis and um, all the teams that put in their efforts to, to make this a uh, success. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. As of March 20th, the U.S. government is facilitating the safe departure of U.S. citizens from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Uh, we are in the process of uh, uh, organizing government chartered helicopter uh, flights uh, from Port-au-Prince to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, where U.S. government personnel are present to uh, provide consular assistance. And from Santo Domingo, um, American citizens will be responsible for their own onward travel to the United States. Um, I assume your next question is going to be, is uh, ha will there be more of these? Um, and that is going to depend on uh, the demand, uh, the situations on the ground, the reliability of commercial transportation. Um, our hope is uh, to keep these options available for American citizens who need it, uh, and, and the feasibility and the assessment of that work um, is going to be ongoing. For operational security reasons, and they're ongoing, I don't want to um, speak with greater specificity, but we do expect um, these um, helicopter movements to uh, make multiple trips um, in order to try and get um, a, a, as many American citizens as, as we can today, uh, while also continuing to look at what options might be available uh, and how what options might be available for reoccurring movements um, in the days ahead and, and even beyond. 
potential. Haiti is a level four um, do not travel country. It's been so since 2020. Um, the uh, violence um, on the ground in Port-au-Prince has been dire. Uh, the security situation is certainly uh, one of high risk, uh, but I will also just say that we uh, would not uh, conduct such an operation if we did not feel uh, that it was safe to do so and did, that we did not have the um, expertise uh, to, to conduct something like this. So I will, I will just leave it at that given security concerns. Uh, and of course, the situation on the ground is one of the biggest factors into determining the frequency at which we can do this and uh, what other options might be available to uh, American citizens, including potential commercial options. Okay. Some are interested in uh, exploring departure options. Some just want to stay in touch with the United States of America or the embassy. Some want expertise advice on how they may be able to remain safe and others uh, may not be in a place for safe departure now, uh, but maybe down the line. So it is important we talk about this, this population in the broad sense that it is, uh, but are uh, the number of Americans who have reached out to us through this form is um, approaching uh, 1,600. Um, okay, thanks everybody. Didn't see any other questions. Thank you.